Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do the silencer issue number eight by DC Comics. Uh, yeah, we continue as always because I like the silencer series. I think it's a very fun, fun series. Yeah, it's just fun. I mean, that's the right word. Uh, beautiful cover, by the way. I mean, look at that. It's just great stuff. Um, it's been, um, so, you know, let's, let's dive in as always. So we see here uh, uh, Superman, but that's not Superman. He's a cosplayer. And this is a, uh, a theme park. Uh, it's, the, it's Action Land. It's a Superman theme park. And Silencer and, and her family are, are there. Oh. And they are having a great time. I mean, they are in the, a land or a place called Sansaro. I'm not sure if that's a real place or f fictional. Uh, but they are here. And it's been uh, drawn by uh, Pratchett Zercher and written by that Mnet. And... Um, so they are here enjoying themselves, and um, so uh, she is she is having a great time. But she also knows why she's here, and um, she's basically on the cover. I explained the the whole thing in the last issue, so check that out if you will. Uh, so uh, her son uh, Ben and uh, Blake, that's her husband, going on to uh, a Krypton rocket roller coaster. And uh, Silencer excuses herself and says, you know what, I'll pass. I got a super spa treatment to today, so you two have fun. Uh, but that's actually not what she's going to do. She's going uh, into uh, superhero mode uh, because she wants to find Talia Ghul and she needs information. So she goes to, uh, I don't know, some building and she says that Kadim, uh, which is in uh, Sansaro. I believe that's a city or a place that's where she needs to go. Um, she says, it's a rogue nation. I need local knowledge. And back in my underlife days, the man in the know here was Inversion or Eversion. He's an XEA spook turned data broker for the dark web. Looks human, but he hasn't been that for about eight years. And uh, because he has body mo mods implants. So uh, she, uh, she comes there and... Uh, and then in, Inversion is, is, you know, shocked and said, you are active again? Are you here to kill me? Did Leviathan send you? And she says, no, I just need information. So uh, he changed into his, his body mods. Uh, he's powering up. And uh, he's, she says, uh, I need um, data on Leviathan. We need regional assets. So um, that's exactly what Inversions do. He's just using his knowledge about the dark web. And uh, he explains that Leviathan hierarchy is, in, is disintegrating um, and that uh, a lot of, uh, well, each, each one of the divisions has a specialty uh, like robotics, body modifications, weapons, and that those divisions are at a war with each other, fighting for control. Uh, there's two major players right now, it's Quietus and Gun. Uh, they are the main contenders, but there's also another player called, called Joan, Jonah9. But we don't see that guy here right now. Uh, probably in the next issues, but I'm, I'm guessing. Um, so, and he says the rest are fighting over scraps. And Talia is missing in action. And she says, and Alyssa says, well, she's my focus. Uh, I want to know what she's doing in Kadim or where she is in Kadim. How do I cross the border? But... Um, Inversion doesn't want to, you know, get involved, but then he's, he's being frozen. Not sure if um, Silencer has does that because he says inversion, question mark. He said, there's a regular smuggler run, takes contrabands in, contrabands in migrants out. Three o'clock this afternoon, I'm going to upload you the location and then she's going to go away. Um, but... None other than Quietus is also in uh, in Sansaro. And he also wants to know, uh, have, wants to have information about Leviathan. Uh, but then something happens. These, these people that work for him are uh, getting, uh, let's say, mind control. But Quietus doesn't know that. And he thinks that he is, there is an assassination going on. So um, people are body mods is powering up and he senses that and he goes immediately in attack mode and uh, skipping a few pages. So they attack him, but he's way too strong. And then what I also like about this whole series that they're using, you know, those very cool 
futuristic gadgets that we don't see much in other superhero comics. And I mean, look at this. He's, this guy is, is, you know, Swiss cheese or chopped liver. I don't know. He's, he's been cut up. I like that. And then um, one of his, uh, his underlings, his, his minions or whatever you can call it, changes back into human form. And he says, uh, I want answers now, Samuel L., you spineless traitor. But Samuels doesn't know what's happening to them. And um, so Quietus is going to interrogate Samuels. And we don't know how that ended, but it doesn't matter. But because we are going back to uh, Action Land. And Ben and Blake have a great time. And, and, and Sinister is coming back. And, uh, and um, you know, and he says, hey, let, let's, let's grab a bite. And then Blake says, yeah, sure. Why not go to the Diner of Solitude? I heard it's good. But then some... Weird happen. Well, there's some things happening here right in front of our nose. Ben says, I don't like Dinah's daddy. People in Dinah's getting guns out and shoot and fight a lot. Yeah. And Blake says, what, what's going on? And Ben is running off to get some ice cream. And uh, Blake says, where did he get that from? People with guns? And, and Silas says, yeah, I don't know. Maybe something on TV. But he immediately knows... Why? And she thinks he's responsible. And she she thinks, I hope to God I haven't mentally scarred my son. Um, I need to finish this. I need to get out into Kadim, destroy the Lazarus pit and make sure Talia cannot come back to do, do, more any, uh, do any more damage. Um, so um, she's going to excuse herself. She says, um, hey, I'm going to check out Mira's Mai Tai Lounge where you can guys catch up the next ride. And Ben says, okay, mama. But Blake says, it's like you don't want to enjoy this vacation with us. So he's getting a little bit suspicious here. I like that. It's, they're planting a little bit seeds here. Um, and she says, of course I do. But I'm not a thrill seeker like you two. Have some fun and soak up some rays. We meet up with, uh, for dinner. Okay, so they're going to the apocalypse escape. <laughs> Why don't we have those kind of attractions here? I mean, it looks fun. Uh, anyway, moving on, skipping a few pages again. So, um, Silas goes to the border and she wants to get, uh, you know, get smuggled out of the, 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 uh, the city. And then not our other than Quietus is also here because he wants to do the same thing. And uh, he says, uh, well, it's a nice bonus that you are here. Now I'm going to, you know, get rid of you, in, in his words. And uh, they, they try to attack each other or going to kill each other. And I like Quietus as as a character. He is a he's a nice. Um, he looks he looks great. He's a, he's a cool villain. He has also cool gadgets, and because he's a basically a cyborg, if you can call him that, and he has uh, force fields, magnetic pulse, a super super cybernetic strength. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a cool villain. I like that. But then he says um, he says uh, we should talk. He says to uh, to the sun. So skipping a few pages again. Um, but Silas attacks him, of course. He said, what are you, what are you talking about? Um, said, um, talk about what? You tried to execute me with an orbital weapons platform. You had a chance to make peace, Quietus. You decided not to. And then um, he says, um, he said, you are here and why? Uh, and I am here. A gun has killed teams here too. Don't you think that's the oddest consequences? Uh, so they try to kill each other still. And uh, the, the, the battle rages on a little bit here. I like that. And they are basically a good match uh, for each other and um, so he says um, there's a, there is a chance to stop Talia forever and whoever does gains control of uh, that uh, whoever does that controls Leviathan I also love the fact that uh, um, Silas throws this barrel at his face and he doesn't flinch at all <laughs> it just bounces off him um, so this is more of a coincidence that we are together he explains to her except what is your point and he says, we are being played. By who? Um, he says, this manipulation bears the very unhealthy stench. Again, skipping a few pages. There's a lot of ads in here. Um, of magic, he says. Now, I don't know the correlation about two people or a couple of people being in the same place. And then immediately magic is involved. I don't know. And then we see this woman here on a throne in this cool looking old theater, I guess, or... Um, she has a dolls of Quietus and uh, Silencer. And she says, um, well, this, this lackey says, My lady Wishbone, 
are these case, games really what the mistress would want? And um, Lady Wishbone, which is the name of the villain, uh, says, I am the only one who is still loyal to Talia Ghul. And I'm going to show what, what, what my division can do. Because it seems that um, her division, her magic division, is considered the weakest uh, of those divisions because all of the other divisions are technologically based. And they are laughing at her that she is, you know, the weakest of the whole part. But now she has the chance to show them that they are wrong. And uh, so she uses the puppets, uses some kind of a magic spell and quietus and, and Leviathan, uh, I mean, sorry, Silence are dizzy and they think, hey, well, damn, what's wrong? What what the hell happened? So Quietus goes to the bathroom and, uh, well, it's, it seems that she is in the body of Quietus, uh, Lady Wishbone did a switcheroo. So they are in each other's bodies. That's actually really cool. And he says, Quietus, where are you? What have you done? Uh, because she doesn't know that what who Lady Wishbone is and what happened. So Quietus in uh, uh, Silas's body says, hmm, this is interesting. This is different. Now let's find out who Silas really is. And that's the end of this issue. Yeah, great stuff. I like that. Yeah, I uh, like I said, I really enjoyed the series. It's just pure fun, you know. It's just there's no really outside interference of other, um, you know, um, DC characters. You know, maybe a little bit hints of there. You know, talk about Superman and um, other characters that shows up once in a while. But mostly, it's just a uh, silencer and her enemies and her uh, with Talia Al Ghul, of course, uh, with Leviathan. And, and her family, you know, doing doing stuff in this comic. And uh, I like that. I like the dynamic that it's really this a small universe, although it's the DC universe, but you know what I mean? Just focus on the main character itself instead of millions of other characters like, uh, you know, other comics that I reviewed. Yeah, um, great stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like the video. More stuff coming soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.